The Oregon Employment Department has released job figures for the month of December. State employment economist Gail Krumenauer is here to tell us more. Oregon's unemployment rate rose from 6.0% to 6.4% in December, and non-farm payroll has declined by 25,500 jobs. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that job loss? While it's not the level of job loss that we saw in the spring of 2020, 25,500 jobs is a large loss over the month. And really, we saw that the bulk of the losses were in leisure and hospitality. So that includes restaurants, bars, hotels. Uh, Their employment declined by 28,600 jobs over the month. Uh, Did any industries gain jobs? Yes, we did see some large sectors that had gains. Two really had uh, gains that were related to the holidays. Uh, First was transportation, warehousing, and utilities, which added 2,200 jobs over the month, and also retail trade, which added 2,200 jobs over the month. The other two large sectors that had gains of more than 2,000 were private health care and social assistance, and also professional business services. Switching gears to the unemployment rate now, can you give us more context? Yes, so Oregon's unemployment rate rose from 6% in November to 6.4% in December. Uh, In November and December, the unemployment rate for the U.S. was 6.7%, so we're fairly similar there. And in recent months, we've been talking about how women's unemployment has been higher than men's in Oregon. Uh, That gap seems to have closed. Uh, But that's because men's unemployment rate uh, has risen to 6.4% in line with women's. How do all these numbers fit into the bigger picture? Well, after seven months of recovery for the U.S. and for Oregon, we've now seen that the U.S. lost jobs in December, and so did we here in the state. And we closed out 2020 in Oregon, having regained just 37% of the jobs that were lost in the spring of 2020.